So now that shelter's out of the way, we needed to concentrate on finding food. With a plethora of options, it was almost impossible to narrow it down to one. Anyway, we decided to feature an up-and-coming restaurant in Bethlehem called The Bayou, which specializes in Southern American comfort food inspired from the Deep South's culinary cuisine. That's where Brian caught up with David, the head chef here at The Bayou. All right, Chef Dave, we're gonna talk chicken today. All right, so start down the breast. Breaking down chicken's easy, just, just like any other thing. Just follow where the joints are. I know you see a lot of people like hacking at it with a- Immediately, I would've took my big knife and I would've sawed at it yeah, like no... it was a piece of wood. So then we have the breast. Okay. With the leg, the thigh, and the wing. Separate the breast from the thigh and the leg. So we'll take the wings off. And then we'll take this and we'll brine this for 24 hours. Well, Chef took us back to see the brine. Chef, That's it. What's in it? Uh, lemon, thyme, salt, sugar. From here, you let it soak in, and then it, I see some packages over there. Yep, this is just the four pieces all wrapped up, ready to go for service. I'll tell you what, Chef, it's cold in here. I can see my breath. Let's get out of here. All right. Then Chef David let me take the reins for a bit. Thankfully, Dave is there to spot me. <laughs> Thank God. All four pieces? At the same time? At the same time. All right. Put it in my batter. Yep. Chef, do I want the excess to come off? Or just yeah, you let a, let a little bit drip off. Okay. And then put it in? And then put it in there. Make sure you get it patted down, well coated. Just right go right the fire, in. Very carefully. Okay. You don't want to burn yourself. Because that would be workman's comp. So we threw the rest of the chicken in the fryer and set the timer for 10 minutes. You know, we have 10 minutes to wait. We could either sit here and talk or we could do this. Time's up. Nice little trick, eh? I only wish I could do that at work. Lastly, we threw in a dash of salt and tossed the pieces around a bit. Struggling here. There you go. Then we added some pickles, a nice helping of mashed sweet potatoes, and voila, southern goodness. But this wasn't the only thing Chef David had in store for us today. What do you have for us? Uh, we have beignets, which is basically uh, it's a New Orleans kind of staple of uh, fried donut. So we'll start with our water, and then our yeast, and brown sugar. Stir those together. And then we let it bloom for five to 10 minutes, where the yeast activates with the sugar. Next came the flour, lard, condensed milk, eggs, and salt mixing all up until the dough becomes nice and thick. When our dough is ready, Chef David rolled it out, sliced it up, and then placed it in the fryer. Look how efficient and tidy this guy is. Chef, always clean. That's right. I wish I had a chef at home. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> that one's gonna come back to bite me sometime. And these knuckleheads show it to my wife. Whoops, uh -oh. sorry, honey. When the dough puffed up and turned golden brown, we took it out and added a little bit of powdered sugar and a little bit more and a little bit more, which was fine with me. Last up, the maple glaze and my stomach was rumbling. I guess there's only one thing left. Chef, gotta eat it. That's right. All right. But first, this meal won't be complete without a drink. So our lovely bartender whipped up the house special called the Blue Bayou, which consists of some rum, peach schnapps, blue curacao, and pineapple juice. A touch more blue curacao, a pineapple, and top it off with a cherry. Voila! So with the help of Chef Dave, we got our chicken, we got our bennies. Our meal was a little incomplete until I ordered this. So when you're in town, make it a point. Stop at one of our favorites, the Bayou, and have some good southern food.